This is shuttle launch control, T minus three hours in holding. And we're in the suit up room here at the astronaut quarters, and we're joined here in firing room four once again by astronaut Chris Cassidy. Uh, Chris, uh, who are we seeing? Can you hear me now, George? There we go. George. Right now we're, we're uh, looking at pilot Charlie Hoba getting getting suited up. You can see him putting putting his gloves on and uh, adjusting the the palm bars for a comfortable comfortable fit. Uh, here we're looking at Alvin Drew on his first space flight. Big old smile there, as uh, as I'm sure. I will be whenever I get the chance to, to do the very same thing. So the, the crew's in, in, uh, in the suit-up room, as you can see, and we're panning, panning around. There's uh, Jerry Ross. He's the, the senior astronaut uh, here at the, the vehicle integration uh, team office. And here's Tracy Caldwell. She'll be mission specialist number one on riding in the flight deck today. And uh, the suit itself, uh, you can see it has all these the pockets in it. There's various things that we put in the pockets, radios and, and basically survival equipment, things that you would need if, if you had to uh, uh, go in that situation. There's astronaut Barb Morgan, the educator astronaut that will be uh, flying her fl first mission. You can see the mirror going on her, uh, her arm there. It helps you when you have the helmet on. It's difficult to sometimes see all the... the uh, parts of the suit that you might need to activate switches or and that mirror helps you do do that Canadian astronaut Dave Williams uh, looking particularly relaxed and ready to go flying White strap in the front is used to adjust the suit as required, so that when it's inflated, it, the uh, the helmet can be positioned and the neck ring can be positioned in such a way that uh, it's comfortable for you. You can see right now Rick Mastracchio is is undergoing a pressure check as we speak, and uh, you can see his arms. The natural sort of resting position when you're when you're inflated to pressure is is a little bit stiff. Um, certainly, some there's uh, Scott Kelly's twin brother, Mark Kelly just went through on the right side taking a picture of his brother the commander Scott who is uh, looks like he's getting ready to begin his pressure check as well well as far as the uh, the suits once you enter the suit room how long does it take to put one of these on well the suit techs are fantastic I mean they you can uh, do it fairly quickly if you needed to. I would say within uh, 10 minutes you could be s suited up. Uh, in back in training at, at Johnson Space Center when we're going into various simulators, um, the process is a little a little quicker. There's not not as uh, not the pressure checks in training that we do here, getting ready ready for flight. It, when we're using them in the simulators, it's really to get used to the the form and it, of the suit and having the helmet on and the gloves and manipulating the switches. With uh, with the suit on. Well, we're just about uh, 15 minutes away before the astronauts will be ready to leave the crew quarters and head out to launch pad 39A to board space shuttle Endeavour. It's uh, a very nice afternoon here at the Kennedy Space Center. We're very fortunate at this time of the year to uh, have drawn the uh, right cards for weather for launch today. It's a little bit hot, but other than that, it's uh, going to be a good day to launch and. As we continue to watch the weather over the course of the afternoon, we're not seeing anything shaping up. Uh, listening a little bit of the uh, weather briefing to the crew a few minutes ago, uh, with nothing of any significance that uh, is probably going to be a factor. What there is is certainly most likely to be outside the 20-mile uh, area of concern that we would have, primarily around the shuttle landing facility in case there's a return to uh, the launch site. So at uh, T minus three hours in holding, we've got 11 minutes and 45 seconds remaining in this plan built in hold. This is shuttle launch control.
This is Shuttle Launch Control. The countdown clock has resumed. It's count backwards toward our launch time targeted for 636 tonight. We're now at T T minus two hours, 59 minutes and 23 seconds and counting. And George, here we have the crew walking down the hallway of crew quarters. Uh, Scott and Charlie leading the way. As they approach the elevator and uh, saying goodbye to the to the great personnel and the crew quarters staff, several other astronauts with them, Chief of the Astronaut Steve Lindsay, Mark Polanski, the lead, uh, uh, Jerry Ross, the lead astronaut of the crew quarters facility, as well as uh, the suit technician number seven, Mike Thompson, who will be riding with them on the, the van out to the pad. And they're headed down the elevator now, which, uh, let's see, this is on which floor of the... Uh, the crew quarters is on third floor of the ONC building. And so in just a moment, we'll see the whole seven-member crew heading toward the Astro van for what amounts to about a 20-minute ride out to launch pad 39A. So uh, who are the other crew members or the other people going on the Astro van with them out there? So uh, the other non-flight crew astronauts were Steve Lindsay, Mark Polanski, who, as you mentioned, will be flying the shuttle training aircraft, and Jerry Ross, who coordinates all the uh, pre- and post-launch activities uh, for the crew. And then, uh, of course, suit technician number seven, Mike Thompson, uh, as well as uh, the driver of the bus itself. And uh, there, they go. there they go. What what's the atmosphere like? Oh, it's it's got to be it's got to be uh, very exciting. You got have gotten through all of the pre-flight briefings and uh, preparation and the year year plus of hard work behind you, and uh, to get to this point, it's it's just got to be uh, very exciting. Then following up in the other vehicles, who uh, generally has to follow it out as a matter of course. Well, we have the the vehicle integration and test team office members, which are uh, KSC and Johnson Space Center employees that uh, track the hardware and the flight crew equipment and uh, various other issues that, that help and support the crew. And uh, they'll be passing in... Um, the final checklist, for example, that they updated, that the crew updated the, their weather notes from the weather briefing and annotated in pen and ink uh, on their briefing cards. We call that flight data file, or FDF. Those flight data file will be brought in along with the crew. And, and so, uh, and the helmets and helmet bags also were, were carried out by those personnel. There we see the van driving, driving on site. <laughs> 